and Dr. P. Rajeshwari, Assistant Professor of Commerce, Kaden College for Women, Nahapat. Today, I am uh, taking the topic, what is amalgamation? What is an amalgamation? The meaning over here of amalgamation, as you can see clearly, it is very simple. In an amalgamation, two or more companies are combined into one by major or one by taking over the other. The term amalgamation is used when two or more existing companies went into liquidation and new company is formed to take over the business of another existing company. For example, A limited company and B limited company are two existing companies. They are going to liquidate it and to form a new company is called amalgamation. It is typically happened between two or more companies engaged in the same line of business or that share some similarity in their operation. Usually, the process involves a large entity called a transferee company and observing one or more smaller transferor companies before creating the new entity. In the companies, the terms of an amalgamation are finalized by the board of directors of each company involved. The plan is prepared and submitted to regulator for approval. In India, that authority resides in the High Court and SEBI. Okay, right. So now, why do companies go for amalgamation and why do companies join together and why do they combine together and why do they go for amalgamation? That is because there are certain advantages if the company do amalgamation if they join together, if they combine together, and it is the economics of large scale production. As if the companies get an amalgamator, then the production will be at large scale. Of course, if production is at large scale, then they will have some benefits, and the highest benefit of large scale production is the reduction of cost rise. And also avoiding competition. If any company is giving, very tough competition in the market that one big company can take over the small company like that. Right, so they can avoid competition in the market. And the increasing efficiency and also expansion. So these are the motivates that are behind the amalgamation. Right. Uh, what is amalgamation means? Two or more existing companies continue together and start a new company is called Amalgamation. Now let us see what are the objectives of amalgamation. The first objective is eliminate competition. If the company is at times of amalgamate in the object of avoiding competition among themselves, they will give the company an edge over its competitor. And second objective is tax savings. An amalgamated company can drive financial gain which may be in the form of tax advantage, higher credit worthiness and lower rate of borrowings. And third objective is economics of large scale operation. The amalgamated company can drive the operating cost advantage through lowering the cost of production. This is possible because of economics of large scale operations. And next objective is increase shareholder value. If the company is going for amalgamated, it can be increase the value of the shareholders. Increase the value of the shareholders. And next objective is managerial effectiveness. Effectiveness is the degree of attainment of predetermined goal an amalgamated company can pour its intellectual resources to achieve managerial effectiveness. And next objective is to achieve growth and gain financially. An amalgamated company can pool its resources to facilitate internal growth and to prevent the advent of a new competitor. And next objective is to acquire cash resources. In company, acquire the cash resources of another company which increase the resources of the cash of the amalgamated company. And next heading is features of amalgamation. There are five features, at least two companies and formation of new company, similar nature, vendor and purchasing company and fifth owners issue of shares. 
and substitutes at least two companies. In amalgamation, two or more existing companies are going for liquidation. And second which is formation of new company. A new company is formed to take over the business of liquidating companies. And the business of existing companies is similar. This is the term we chose. And fourth one is liquidating companies are called vendor companies and the new company is called purchasing company. And fifth feature is issue of shares. Generally, purchase consideration is discharged by the issue of equity shares of purchasing company. What is purchase consideration? In this heading, we are going to see different methods of purchase consideration under amalgamation, absorption and external reconstruction. Before we see the purchase consideration, let me explain what is amalgamation, absorption and external reconstruction. And briefly the first one is amalgamation, we already see the meaning, just a recall. What is amalgamation? Two or more existing companies combine together and form a new company is called amalgamation. In that case, two liquidation and one formation. And second one is absorption. In absorption means one existing company to take over by the another existing company is called absorption. For example, two companies are there, A Limited and B Limited. A Limited is taken over by B Limited and the new company is B Limited is called as absorption. So there is one liquidation and one formation. The next one is external reconstruction. The external reconstruction means the existing companies can wind up the business with the same set of the shareholders and they start new business is called external reconstruction. For example, X Limited liquidated the existing business with the same set of existing shareholders. They start the new business called Y Limited. This is called as external reconstruction. Now let us see what is purchase consideration and different methods of computing purchase consideration. Okay. Now what is purchase consideration? It means the aggregate of the shares and other securities issued and payment made in the form of cash or other assets by the purchasing company to the shareholders of the selling company. As per the section 14, it is the price paid by the transferee company to the transferer company for the purchase of its business. What is the who is transfer company? Old company or vendor company is called transfer company. And company which are getting liquidated is transferer company. And the new company is called transferee company. And the accounting treatment is also separate in each of these parties. Yes, is the transfer company proceedings are applicable. And here transferee company accounting standard 14 is applicable. Accounting 14 uh, according to standard 14, talks about the amalgamation and the new came to know the purchase consideration. The price is payable in the form of transferee company to the transferer company is called purchase consideration. And there are four methods for computing purchase consideration. So, what is purchase consideration is something that is paid by the new company to the transferer company because this transferer company is being sold to transferee company. And let us see the methods of purchase consideration. There are four methods. Lump sum method, net asset method, net payment method, intensive value method. Now we see what is lump sum method. Let us see the methods of purchase consideration there are four methods for calculating purchase consideration. The first method is lump sum method. It means agreement between the purchasing company and the selling company is clearly mentioned about how much amount they are going to make payment 
they should clearly mention in the agreement. So, according to this method, the amount paid by purchasing company to the vendor company in the lump sum purchase consideration is clearly even in the problem. So, you need not to see any method to calculate purchase consideration. The total amount of purchase consideration is given in the problem itself. So, this is called as lump sum method. For example, in, it is a method of presentation of purchase consideration in which the purchasing price is given in total. If A Limited take over the business of B Limited for rupees 5 lakh payable and rupees 2 lakh uh, 5 lakh payable in form of rupees 2 lakh in equity shares and rupees 2 lakh in dependents and balance in cash. It is a lump sum method for presenting the purchase price. And next method is net asset method. Let us see the net asset method is agreement between the selling and purchasing company may specific the exact amount payable to the shareholders of the company in the form of cash or in the form of shares or in the form of dependents in the purchasing company. See, here the purchasing company make payment to selling company in the form of cash or shares or dependents in the purchasing company. So, this is called as net payment method. Here we have to focus about the mode of payment to selling company. So, while we calculate the purchase consideration under this method, certain important key points we have kept in mind. Let me explain one by one. The first one is agreed value of assets and liabilities taken over by purchasing company. And the second one is all payments agreed upon should be added equity or different shareholders. And the last one is even if the liquidation expenses of the selling company or agreed to pay by the purchasing company. I am doing some format about that. Under the net asset method, purchase consideration can be calculated. The agreed value of asset taken over by purchasing company less agreed value of liabilities taken over by purchasing company is called and the less amount is called purchase consideration. And next method is net payment method. Here, all the payment agreed upon by the purchasing company are added upon. Under this purchase consideration is calculated by adding the various payments made by purchasing company in the form of cash, shares, dependents, etc. No deduction is made for any liability assumed by the purchasing company. This method is called net payment method because the purchase consideration under this method is the total amount of payment made even after assuming the liabilities. <coughs> then we have to calculate purchase consideration under the net method is mode of discharge of purchase consideration. First of different shares, equity shares, cash. Cash, uh, cash to equity or cash to potential is called purchase consideration. And last method is intrinsic value on share exchange method. In this method, it is calculated by dividing the net asset value of the transferor company by the price of one share of the transferee company. The resulting figure then divided by the number of existing shares of the transfer company to find out the ratio. For example, A limited is observed by B limited. It was decided that the holder of every, uh, every three shares in A limited was to receive five shares in B limited. It's called intrinsic value method. Okay, these are the four methods under purchase consideration.
Okay, now we see a small problem under purchase consideration. Let us see the problem. A Limited agreed to purchase the business of X Limited on the following terms. There are two uh, uh, kinds. For first one is for each of the 10,000 shares of rupees, 10 each in X Limited, 3 shares in A Limited of rupees, 10 each will be issued at the agreed value of rupees 12 per share. And second term, second mode, in addition, rupees 5 per share cash will be paid. We have to calculate purchase consideration and then in what method? It is net asset method. Let us see. A limited agree to purchase the business of X limited. Upon who is A limited? A limited is purchasing company. Okay. And who is X limited? X limited is vendor company. X limited is vendor company. Okay. So A limited give some amount to the X limited in the form of for each of 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each in X limited. That is X limited shares 10,000 shares of 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each. Okay. 10 each and 3 shares in A limited of rupees 10 each will be issued at agreed value of rupees 12 per share. What is it that? A limited give 1 share of 10,000 shares in X limited. They give 3 shares. So, what is the total amount of shares? Just we have to cross multiply. Okay. So, put 10,000 shares into 3 divided by 1 and what is the agreed value in each shares will be 12 per share. So, into 12. So, what is the amount? 30,000 shares. So, A limited give 30,000 shares. In each shares they give 12 per, 12 per shares. So, they give 3,60,000 in form of shares. So, A limited give 3,60,000 shares in form of purchase consideration. And second mode is cash. So, they are total shares 10,000 shares. So, they give in addition rupees 5 per share cash will be paid. So, addition that rupees 5 per share they will be in form of cash. So, they give 50,000 cash. So, for total amount of PZ is 4,10,000. It's clear. Let us explain and again. A limited give 3 in shares of rupees 12 per share. So, what is the number of shares in AX limited is 10,000 shares. So, 10,000 into 3, 3 multiply 12. So, A limited give in form of share is 3,60,000. And second mode is give rupees 5 rupees in form of cash. So, total number of share is 10,000. So, 10,000 into 5, we give 50,000. So, under the net asset method, the purchase consideration is 4,10,000. Okay. A clear under purchase consideration in net asset method. So, this is a simple problem. We have to calculate under net asset method in PC. Okay. So, an in net asset method means we give the in form of in mode of shares. Uh, in short, shares means equity shares, different shares or dependents or cash. So, if a purchase company give in what mode to the uh, given to the vendor company. So, in, under this net asset method, 
they will, we will be calculate among in shares, cash, dependents, etc. Okay, so you have to be clear in that problem under the data set method. Thank you.